they, uh, people got bent out of shape whenever I say that there's a difference between a, a weapon and a self-defense tool. What is the difference between a weapon and a self-defense tool? Uh, we're going to talk about it in this video. Also, you know that we have 2 million views on our video on this. 2 million views. Stinger Tools has sent us four Stinger Tactical Whips to give away. We're going to give those away. We're going to tell you how you can, you know, get one of those in this video. They sent us, look, limited edition. We got orange, all right. green, a black one, and then the platinum edition. Ooh, big dog. It has a seatbelt cutter in it as well. Solely for use in vehicular emergency situations. It must not be used for any other purpose other than rescue. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Uh -huh. Ah! You hear that? Like, oh. On this channel, we've reviewed a lot of self-defense weapons and self-defense tools and just weapons in general, and I make that distinction, and it makes people crazy. The one where everyone got really upset was the baton video, uh -huh. where I said, this is not a self-defense tool, this is a weapon. So what do I mean by that? I, I, to me, a self-defense tool is a thing that you could use to stop someone from doing what they're doing if they're attacking you, That's fair. right? Mm -hmm. And you could use anything for that. You could use a lamp. <laughs> for that yeah. you could use a butcher knife for that though i don't think really knives are self-defense tools maybe we'll get more into that that's later. a weapon <laughs> i think so my issue with the baton if you're a bad guy and you are attacking me and i want to stop you from attacking me with this mm -hmm. i get the one swing we've talked about that you get one swing at this range and it just never works yeah. but why people got confused is because they see this big metal rod and they think well if i crack somebody in the head with that that would definitely do something no one's arguing that it would what i'm saying is that that scenario that perfect set of circumstances where you're being attacked and cracking them in the head one time is going to stop them from attacking you and it was also legally justifiable is a narrow set of circumstances but they say but you advocate concealed carry of a firearm i'm not saying that you can never use lethal force in self-defense I'm saying that if you need lethal force, there's better choices. If I had a pistol and I had an attacker that was attacking me, doing whatever, even if it's close range, and I draw this pistol and I start pulling the trigger, he's probably going to stop doing what he's doing. With all these, of course, we have retention issues. Like we're going to have to, you know, know how to wrestle over it, know how to keep someone from taking it from us. But that's all weapons. Let me explain it this way. I think the baton is a weapon. It's an effective weapon and an ineffective self-defense tool. This, I think, was is a self-defense tool, you know, the stun gun, but it's not much of a weapon because it doesn't really do any damage. Yeah. It's all, psych it's all psychological. You feel like it's hurting, but it doesn't actually hurt. It sounds like it hurts. Yeah. It's scary. Ah, shit! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> like, it doesn't hurt. It's just like, ah, what was that? Mm. Ah, God, dude. But it's, it doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't really hurt that much. <laughs> Not once you get over like the, your, the fear of it. Yeah. <laughs> Especially compared to everything else we've tried. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the minor one right this, there. Uh, dude. <laughs> That's a walk in the park. <laughs> the pepper spray is the worst. Oh, God. Don't ever want to do that again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, that was it. Oh, I hate it. People really get bothered that I, that I differentiate between anything can be a weapon and any weapon can be a self-defense tool. True. Look but, at Jason Bourne with the pencil. Oh my God. <laughs> well, remember we had the, the I tactical got pen. The remember I got you in the back with it and you had a hole in your back. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, wow. That was fun. They sell this as, they market this as a, um, you know, self-defense tool. Mm -hmm. Not much of a weapon. Like, if I was going to murder you with it, <laughs> this would not be my choice. This would not be my choice. Mm -hmm. A pistol or a baton, both of those could do it. Mm -hmm. The pistol also has defensive applications. I just don't think a baton has a lot of defensive applications. Which brings us to the Stinger Tactical Whip. Mm. Oh, shit! <laughs> I called this a weapon more than a self-defense tool. No one got upset when I said that about this because people don't hold this 
dearly. There's a lot of people that think that that baton is like, they just value that thing so much. Four people gonna learn today. Yeah. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Let's give them away like this. I'm a fair person. I don't care. When you hate on me, you argue with me, that's fine. I wanna hear your opinion on what you think the difference is between a self-defense tool and a weapon. Even if you think I'm full of shit and there isn't one and you don't agree with the nomenclature or the semantics or however you want to put it. I'm going to give it like the four best arguments get the win. Best? Or the... I want to give the idiots with nothing to say a chance to win too. <laughs> Why? Know? Because the I'm... Idiots with nothing to say. I said I'm fair, so it'll be random. I want you to really tell me what you think, even if it's the comment is just, there is no difference, you're an idiot. We'll use a random number generator. We'll take the number of comments after like, say, you know, two weeks of this video. If you've already made a comment about something I said earlier in this video, don't worry, that will not disqualify you, it's fine. But spamming will. I can tell the difference, you know the difference, don't do that, just give me your genuine thoughts. We're not trying to get anything out of you, we just want to celebrate and say thank you for reaching 2 million views on the WHIP video. The full contest rules are going to be in the description of this video, so make sure you check those out. We're going to give away three right down in the comment section of this video. Whatever your opinion is on the difference between a self-defense tool and a weapon or if there is one the platinum one we're gonna give this one away on instagram there's a link to my instagram down below go to instagram make sure you're following make sure you have everything turned on there'll be a post sometime within the next two weeks i'll ask the same question on instagram you'll be able to comment there and you get a shot at winning this platinum one with the seatbelt cutter please like when i reply to you whenever i do giveaways mm -hmm. i have to take like the fifth person yeah i'm gonna give you like 24 hours i'll give you 24 hours after i reply to you and then we send it to the next dude you ready yeah oh ah. Ah. mike <laughs> you good people made fun of the flashlight as the best you love the flashlight <laughs> i think you it's the it. best self-defense tool because it helps you see it makes a decent little impact weapon, which this is not, we did the video on actually, you have to know how to actually land a hammer strike in order to land a flashlight strike. But it does what it's intended to do every time you use it. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. And it doesn't accidentally do shit that it's not supposed to do. Yeah. Which is why I think the whip is a little better than the baton. I think it does less lethal, better than the baton. And at close range, I think it does lethal. Yeah better than the baton. I do not want to be stabbed with that thing. So if you do want to get one of these, which I don't recommend you actually hitting or using on anyone, but they are a lot of fun. If you can't get into win one or you, you aren't selected, uh, if you use code ICMike10, I'll put a link below for these, you get 10% off of one of these, which is- Is there a big booty J10 or anything? No? We need to do that. <laughs> uh, next brand that hits us up, get my boy a discount code. <laughs> BBJ10. <laughs> no, that's something different. Right? People are like, no, I'm not putting that in. <laughs>